This video takes a look at multiplying and simplifying all at once. And what I mean by that is that just before you multiply, you simplify. But you kind of do it in one fell swoop. So this equation here describes how to multiply two fractions. When you multiply two fractions, you multiply the numerators together and the denominators, and they become your new numerator and denominator. Now the equal sign says, I can do this in any order. It doesn't matter which. It just says I have to go through this process at some point. So if we kind of use that to our advantage, then we can decide whether or not any of the numbers in, in the numerator and denominator share a common factor. And we can cancel these out before we multiply. So we have, in this case, 3 quarters times 2 fifths. And all we have to do is we have to have numbers in the top and the bottom, not side to side, top and bottom, that share a common factor. Well, 3 is prime and 5 is prime, so they don't share a common factor. 3 and 4 don't share a common factor. Oh, but 2 and 4 do. And so they share a common factor of 2. So what we can do then is we can cancel that 2 out. The effect is dividing. And so we take 2 and we, we cancel out the 2 to make 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Careful. A lot of people like to call it 0. It is not. It is 1. Uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now when we go through the multiplication process, we have 3 times 1, which is 3, and 2 times 5, which is 10. And you'll notice that that's reduced. And so we could use this to reduce our fractions before we multiply them. It will just make the problem easier and faster. It's not necessary but it will help you in the long run.